Hi everyone, Victor here. Welcome back to a Python tutorial on how to code a GUI calculator using the model view controller design pattern in a Zotikentra library. In this video I'm going to show you how to style the calculator so that it looks like the one in the thumbnail. So we'll be using two forms of styling. Like I said, I'm using the Tekintra library, but I'm also using the TTK extension. And again, the TTK extension was created to basically give the widgets a more improved look. So the TTK comes with 18 widgets, but 12 of them already existed in the old TK module. But they just look a bit differently. And then there's also some new ones like Combo Box, Notebook, Progress Bar, and Tree View. So the way you style the widgets has changed in TK versus, versus TTK. In TK, you would set the options when you created the object. Um, for example, if you create a label, you can set the foreground to black, the background to white. And then you can also change the options after creating the, the widgets by calling the config method. And then in the new TTK, <clears throat> you instead create a style object and then set the options for that style and then when you create your label object or your button object you can assign that style and this is really useful because with the old TK code you would be doing a lot of repetitive uh, styling for example here in, the, in this example you're creating two labels but you have to set the foreground and background for both of them with the new styling method you just create the one style and you set the options for that style and then you can assign that style to both of your labels so that just saves you a lot of repetitive code and then also the the new TTK styles have a, a few more options that you can change so let's get started on changing the style of our calculator we'll start by changing the background of the the root window and we'll set it to black if you remember we created a a frame uh, mainframe and packed it into the root window to basically allow us to create sort of a padding around the widgets so the way we change the background to black is just by calling the config method on self which again self is basically the tk.tk .tk object which our view class inherits from and so that would be the root window which is just another widget which has a config method that we can change the those options even though we're not creating the the window um, even though the window has already been created we can change those options so we can call the BG option which stands for background and set it to black so that will set the the background color of our root window to black that's what you can see kind of a, a border here that's the padding that we gave to our mainframe which contains the buttons and the entry so the next thing will be to format the entry. Um, we're also going to set the background to black and then the foreground to white so that the numbers will come out white and then also make them a bit bigger. But to do that I'm actually going to switch over to a, a label instead of this entry uh, just because it's going to be easier to to format that label and the the label widget didn't change much from TK to TTK you can't really tell much of the differences like with buttons or uh, some of the other widgets and also the for some reason TTK doesn't make it easy to change the background color of the entry widget um, like it like it's like the label is just a simple BG equals whatever color you want it like this one so like I said, we're going to, instead of making an entry, we're going to make a label. So I'll change my 
make entry method to a make label. So I'll change this to label. And again, this label, we don't need to make it an attribute of the class because it's not going to be, we're not going to use it anymore since we're using this text variable to keep track of the value. We don't need to use the label object itself. It'll still get created and it'll still be packed into the window, but we don't need, we don't need it to be an attribute of the class. So we just have it as label instead of self.label. And then we're actually going to use the the old TK label um, just because it's easier to to format since we're only going to be formatting this one label we can just set the options for the this one label here instead of creating a style for it in this case it's easier to style the, the label here instead of creating a style. If we were going to style more than one label then it would make more sense to use a TTK label and then create a style for those labels. But here we can, we're can we just gonna have the one label so we can set the options here. We'll set the background to black and the foreground to white and then we're also going to make the font a little bit bigger. The way you do that is with the font option. And this takes the tuple, which you can specify the font family, the font, and the the size of the font. And in this case, I'm just going to specify the font. So I'll just set it to Arial. And then I'll use 30 for the font size. And then also this justify option is a is an option for the entry widget which if you remember we used it to so that the numbers would start from the right the equivalent of that for labels is with the the anchor option and this you can set it to north east south west and that uh, indicates where where the text is going to be anchored so if we wanted it on the right we would set it to east so if you see now, <clears throat> the background of the label is also black, and then the foreground or the numbers are white, and then they also look a little bit bigger. So the next thing will be to style the buttons, and for that, since there are all these buttons, we are going to create a style for that. So we'll make another method to configure our style. So we'll create a method for configuring button styles. So here is where we're actually going to create our style object. So it's going to be a ttk.style. And then now we're going to configure the, the styles for the different buttons. But to do that we're actually going to need to change the theme um, because the TTK will not allow you to change the background color of buttons on the default theme so we're going to use a different theme and you can check which which themes are available on, in the system that you're on. So I'm using a, a MacBook Pro and you can use uh, theme names. This will give you a list of the themes that are available available for your system and then you can also check which theme it's currently using with theme use. So as you can see these are the different themes that are available for my system and this is the one that it's currently using. So I've actually gone through each of those themes and chose the one that I liked the best which was the alt so the way you change the theme is with all similarly with the the way you 
check which team, you use the same method, but you provide a name of a theme, and it will set it to that to that theme. So as you can see, the the buttons are different now. They're more square. Um, they're kind of raised. Now essentially the difference between a theme and a style, a theme would change the styling for all of your widgets. It's kind of the, the feel of the, the, entire, the entire window, the entire application. And then the style will allow you to change the styling for individual widgets. So that'll be it for this video. In the next video I'll show you how to change the styling for each of these buttons and what do different styling for the number of buttons, the operator buttons and the the other buttons like the clear and the inverse and the percent. So I'll see you in the next video.